thank you that one day I can look up and see this whole section just packed, praise God. With not just strangers, but family. Say hello. Father, we just love you this morning. Hallelujah. And I know that you are soon coming. He blesses. Somebody say amen. amen. And the blessings of the Lord is up on you. Praise God. A lot of times poor people and people that in unbelief hold themselves in poverty is because of not giving. Each time I talk on that, somebody don't like it, I'm going to still talk on it. Praise God. Amen. Because if somebody called me up crying, talking about uh, some things that they know I was right on. Amen. And when it when it hit the fan like that, then they called me up, praise God, to pray some some help up on them. Amen. Amen. But I told them, I said, the enemy will get you out of your house and home. Praise God. You'd be on the street walking. You won't have income. All of that, it comes from the enemy. But guess what comes from the Lord? Peace, joy, blessings, happiness. Blessings on top of blessings. Joy on top of joy. Somebody said amen. amen. And I feel like we're in line in 2012 for a blessing. Yes, Hallelujah. How many believe that the blessings of God is up on you? Amen. The blessings of Abraham is up on you. Amen. The blessings of Isaac is up on you. Amen. The blessings of Jacob is up on you. All the blessings that God promised those four prophets, they're up on you. Amen. Just reach. Just reach. Just reach and receive this morning and say, I'm coming out. Everybody say, 2012, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm not going to be back there in 2010 and 11 because I'm coming out in 2012. Everything that's good is for me, for me, for me. Point at yourself. Make it personal. It's for me, for me, for me. Amen. I'm going to have more than I ever had in 2012. My bank account's going to be running over in 2012. My cupboard's going to be running over in 2012. Praise God. I'm going to live better. I'm going to drive better in 2012. If you don't, if you don't need it, take notes and give it to somebody that doesn't need it. And all you don't need, you can give it to me. Clap your hands. All you, you, you know, God, <clears throat> Isaac was a blessing. Yes, Lord. Abraham was a blessing. Yes, Lord. Joshua was a blessing. And God told Joshua, since he was devoted to Moses, since he was such great helper to Moses, he said, all the blessings I are stored upon Moses. Joshua, they're up on you. Amen. Anybody know that? Amen. Isaac blessed his son Jacob. Esau stepped up and stole the blessing. Isaac couldn't take the blessing back because he had given it to Jacob now. But actually, there were twins, Jacob and Esau. Esau was the firstborn, but he got hungry for a bowl of stew. And he traded the stew for the opportunity to go in and see his dad. So Jacob said, I'm going to go in and see dad. Because he know if dad lay hands on you, you're going to be blessed. Amen. And dad was in his last hours. Yes, and they know that he was on his sick bed. Well. Jacob went up in there and stole the blessing. Well. Don't let nobody rob you of your blessing. Amen. It's a certain amount of blessings up on this earth for everyone in here. Amen. It's a certain amount of angels God have dispatched. To watch over you and, and see after you. Yes, Lord. I heard Juanita Bynum say that she was uh, losing her mind one time over something. And just didn't care anymore and didn't know where she was. And she was walking the street. And she stepped out on the bus stop. And the angel snatched her back. Amen. When she, that's when she came to herself. And she didn't know who pulled her back. 
I heard Jan Crouch say she was going to a service, PTL service, a TBN service, and had a blowout way out up on the hill. Had no time to make it to the service. And she had girls with her. Nobody knew how to fix a flat. They didn't know how, where they kept the flat at, kept the tire at. And she say, a stranger roll up on the bike and say, you all in trouble. She said, yeah, we have a blowout and we don't know how to fix the flat. And say, he didn't ask, do you have a spare tire or whatever, he just told her to open the back. She opened the trunk, this stranger put the tire on, got her back on the road, and she looked around and say, I need to thank this stranger. We didn't even thank him. And there was no one there. Amen. God will send an angel in time. Each one of you in here have had an angel. You may not realize what time that was, but God have dispatched angels to watch over you. I feel sorry for people that are in belief. I have ministered to a lot of people that was in belief. They no longer on this side of the earth. They no longer in the land of the living because they were in belief. Amen. I was at a church where they didn't believe in prayer and gifts and prophecies and women talking well. and women speaking and women preaching. Well. So God told me to tell the pastor was a man among us very ill, and he was one of the deacons. And so it was a, a secret. So the pastor, no, no one had told me. The pastor, the uh, deacon had kept his illness a secret. And so he called me in to the office that morning. And he said, I want you to pray for him. This is the deacon that... I won't call a name because this might get out. That's ill. And I said, the Lord have a scripture for you, and he wanted me to pray with you. And the deacon looked at me like he said, when the pig crow, if you see a hog fly in, you can pray for me. That was his attitude. I walked on out of the office. I told my spiritual mother about it. She said, well, let him hurt. He don't want no prayer. Let him hurt. And he didn't last but about a month later. Amen. Amen. And I know that if I had gone in and prayed for that individual, he would have lived. Amen. How I know? Because God had told me about this incident. A lot of other times God tell me and I tell the person, they still on this earth. Amen. You must believe in God's word. Amen. This right here is God's word. This Bible is the word. Yes, Lord. This is God's word, amen. amen. I can't make it without this word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, Joshua, God spoke to Joshua when he was in battle. You can have a seat, Minister Madam. You can stand up as long as you want. He said, uh, we're not going to be here but a minute. Amen. He said, Joshua, when I tell you to go, you go. Where I tell you to go, you go. He said, I'm with you as I was with your father Moses. Amen. Amen. And so praise God. He, he uh, listened to God. And one time, Joshua had to fight Ai. That was a, a group of mean people. But it was a small army. And Joshua would say, well, I don't need God for this. I'm so, he had, he had won all the battles with God's help. A lot of preachers think when God anoint them to do a job healing and so forth, so many times it's them. But it's God's anointing upon our back. Anybody listening? God's anointing is upon our back. I wouldn't, we, we wouldn't be able to do what we did without his anointing, amen. God has sent me in state prison to get people out. Call me insane if you want to. It was, a, it was a sergeants that say, I want to see this out. Amen. Every time the anointing would drop, I would begin to pray. It's somebody that can witness that. Every time the anointing fell, my husband was right by my side. He could witness it right now. I would begin to pray again. 
And the head man over that prison walked through and said, who is that lady? He said, weren't you sitting here this morning when I came in to work? I said, yes, and I'm still here. And he said, well, what can I do for you? Anybody that devoted, I want to help them. But that was God, amen. amen. That man put us uh, 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 with the dangerous breast, what you call it when the people going out there. And he said, do your thing, amen. amen. Just like uh, Jay-Z told Beyonce. He said, now nah, I done rented this whole flow for you to have my baby. Get in there and do your thing, amen. amen. God is greater than any man on the earth. Whoever you look up to on this earth, God is greater, somebody. It's no one greater than God. One day I was at my lowest low and I had, my sons were in the street, my husband in the street, everybody was in the street, and I was by the phone afraid to pick it up, and I'm praying, and I'm praying day in and day out, and I say, I just don't see no way out. Guess what, when you don't see no way out, Guess what? When you can't do no more, yeah. then you give God a chance to work. And Jesus angel stepped through my window. And he said, I'm with you. Amen. He never opened his mouth, but I wished he had. He revealed to my mind what he was saying. He said, everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. He revealed to me to get up and move out of this spot. He let me know that I'm with you. And I'm going to take care of you. Somebody say amen. amen. And praise God, a lot of people have tried to ask me, well, did he say this? Did he say that? Did he? He just stepped in my window. And I could just feel the power overshadowing me. And if you ever had the Holy Ghost on you so much, you just. <laughs> have you ever had the Holy Ghost up on you? And you, can't, you can't do nothing, hallelujah, but receive from God. Say amen and say praise the Lord. Amen. But everything was all right. God worked it out. Somebody say God, God. worked it out. Yeah. I was at a lower, another lower point, and the doctor told me I had to have major surgery. And I said, well, God, you have healed everybody you told me to pray for. Why do I have to have surgery? Why? Because he was letting me know it's not in me. The anointing is in God. It's not in me, it's in God. Yeah. And I began to fall on my knees and pray. Amen. Amen. I went in my son's room, Willie's room, praise God, that passed away. And he said, Mama, you can have my room, I bunk with Maverick. And I went in his room and I began to pray. And I fell on my knees and I wept and I prayed and I prayed unto the Lord. Sometimes you think that little old now I lay me down to sleep. Prayer is enough. That's for kids. Now I lay me down to sleep ain't enough. It's time to move up into the big prayers. It's time to move up into our Father, which art in heaven. And I began to pray and, and God said, now get up. You prayed long enough. Go to the window. I got up. Fontana, California. And I went to my window and I looked out and God had formed a silver cross all over Fontana. Our house was not the only one that seen it. Other people saw that. And he said, I'll be with you. Don't worry about the surgery. He revealed to my mind again, everything is gonna be all right. Amen. How many? I got a feeling today, saints. How many got a feeling? that everything is gonna be all right. How many got a feeling this morning that everything is gonna be all right? The Holy Ghost whispered. Everything, the Holy Ghost told me everything is gonna be all right. Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled this morning. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house of many mansion, were it not so, I would not have told you. I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. If God show me one of my loved ones' face, I don't always call her to file them. I just began to fall on my knees. And believe me, I've seen every one of your faces in God. Amen. 
I don't try to scare the fire out of you. I just get on my knees and intercede and begin to pray and ask God to take care of you. Somebody clap your hands this morning. But if you make a commitment to God, I told you the first Sunday of the year, and some of you have responded, and some of you, praise God, already know the secret. See, God prepared a prophet to come and get Abraham's tithes. Nobody had ever heard of Melchizedek and haven't many heard of him since. But Abraham was praying to be blessed. And God said, if you give a 10% of everything that I give you, I'll make you the richest man on this earth. And do you know he made Abraham so wealthy, he told him to go into your own land. He gave him his own corner of the earth. And every cow and everything that he needed, if you could have children, cow, and water, and things like that, you was all right, praise God. And he made Abraham rich. And he said, I won't only make you rich, I'll make your seed rich. We have not learned when we get paid 10%. And the envelope can seal it up. And say, this is God's, this is not mine. He said, that 90% you got left, I can do more with it than you can do with the 10. I learned that a long time ago. It was a lady in my church. The pastor didn't teach it to me. I watched this lady every Sunday. She was sitting, sitting by me in the choir, and I would see her get that ties out and put it in and seal it up. I had been taught to give a dollar because that's what my parents gave me. Amen. But God said 10%. And I tell you, blessings will come. It's money out there trying to catch up with you. Amen. Everybody in here, lob psalms are out there trying to catch up with you. They, they won't catch you. They won't Father, catch you. We thank you for another time. We thank you, God, that he had a, a mind on last night that he was going to be in church. Yeah, and I thank you for bringing him out. And Father, I ask you, praise God, to touch the areas that he's praying about right now, this morning. In Jesus' name, everybody say, amen. 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 Thank you for Kriya this morning. And Father, I pray that you bless her with a singing voice. When she look up here at me, I know she's saying, Lord, I want to sing. I want to sing. And Father, touch Angela. And Father, give her the strength to raise these children. And be their father for them. You and just give her the strength to, to carry him around because I know he's heavy. And I know her patients are so short, Lord. Work with these patients. Read that Bible every day, Angela. Go up in that closet. Read that Bible. Get off that uh, computer, get off of that uh, Facebook song, and get on that, on that Bible book. Whatever on the computer y'all get on. And God is going to take care of you and your friends, God. Okay. Sister Tammy, watch over, Sister Tammy. I got your uh, ties this week. Amen. You listened, didn't you? Amen. All right. You watch, and watch over, Sir Isaac. Come on up here. And watch over, Sir Isaac. Stop getting so upset, Sir Isaac, so fast, okay? All right. We to get up on this? Right here? Mom? Put two fingers up. Right here on that. I'm not going to be getting all upset. All right. That's what baby. Mom, I thank you that one day I can look up and see this whole section just packed, praise God. With not just strangers, but family. Say hello. Father, we just love you this morning, hallelujah. And I know that you are soon.